When you're dealing with one of the most intense dog breeds with an appetite for destruction if they can't purge their power, you've got to find the extremes to challenge their needs. Meet the world-renowned Wolf Driver, who has pioneered ways to adventure with his husky team that has never been done or seen before. You won't believe what you're about to witness. We've just arrived. Let me uh, take a walk out here. Maybe you recognize we are in near the CNO Canal on Country Club Road, I believe it's called. Been here many a times before. Gonna give you a quick overlook. This is an exciting, very exciting day in Wolf Driver World. First off, I'm in my uh, riding shoes, so better not get too close to the edge. Here's what you're looking at. Little uh, sheltered now by the greenery or changing leaves still on the trees. We're uh, at a, uh, October 2nd, so we're getting ready to go through the leaf change and the glowing colors that that provides. So why this day is so special? Well, first of all, this is the grand, how can I say this, the glistening, the, the, the arrival of the latest wolf driver, wolf wheels, all dog vehicles. ADVs, all the different names I call them. Hi, Chasey. And you're about to see. Hi, Jaggy. Hi, good girl. Hi, good girl. What are you, what are you doing? You crawling out where Mr. Scott sits? Hi. We're talking Lola. We're talking Chase. Talking Jag and Zorro. And Scott's over there. So we're about to take you to the Easy Raiders. These are the latest Wolf Driver ADVs, all dog vehicles. And they are right there. Chris P is working on them. And uh, I believe I might be the only one in the country that has the, I think it's called the H4. It's a four hub motor, four motor system scooter essentially designed by the Israeli military. And it, uh, Hang on, let me move that clamp out of your way, Chris. Hang on. What's that? Uh, the first one you did, it ran right over it. Let me get this stuff, okay. Cool. It does look good, the way you put Wolf Driver on there. It's got parking brake, cool. You know I like that. This makes it official, Wolf Driver. So, um, these are um, designed by the Israeli military. This one has two motors, so I believe two hub motors in the front. This one has four, so and the tires are a little bigger. I think they're in the back. The, the motors are in the back? Okay, so the tires are a little bigger. That's the H4, that's the H2. And uh, we're getting ready to put the dog attachments on them. It's been customized by the importer who imports them here in the United States. And they're located in Washington State. But what I was saying, I believe I'm the only one to have the H4 in the country because they're just uh, in high demand, I guess, throughout the world. And they're just starting to sell them here in the United States. So uh, this thing's a beast. That's a beast too. There's another model, which is even a, um, still a, a lower than this if you will for lack of a better description and uh these things have got a range of about i think 35 miles or so they can go on one charge and uh they can hit 30 miles per hour plus i believe speed wise that's not why i got them i got them for their climbing capabilities and for the ruggedness to be able to go on all kinds of terrains with the dogs doing our stuff what we do adventuring and uh as i say fur wheeling um they have seats and uh I haven't been on them yet. So I'm gonna ride this one, Scott. You're gonna ride that one. But we do have dog attachments for both. Oh yeah, that came out great. So he uh he went wild on those. I like them. So uh part of the reason they put that on, dude, they want me to uh they want to be featured on the videos. <laughs> and they want to say they did the work, you know. The, the wolf driver stuff, they customized them and 
all that good stuff so should be exciting um the dogs are definitely anticipating a good time hi little lola hi zaro and uh we're getting ready to rock and roll this place it's gonna be a lot of fun so that's incredible okay there's not many of them to begin with in the united states like i said uh but um the h4 is really in high demand so basically from now we're gonna ride probably 15 to 20 miles because it's still early yet let me check the time here for you 247 in the p.m hours and why i say that is because we're doing a werewolf's ghost hunt after this which is going to be another incredible incredible adventure historically and ghost wise so we we try to discover history through ghost hunting and it's all inspired by the dogs that's why it's called werewolves w-e-r-e-w-o-o-f-s werewolves like wolf driver me w-o-o-f driver in case you're just seeing this and you don't know about me right there but werewolves so werewolves is where we've been doing this for about five years because again inspired by the dogs i've been out on trails and out riding around adventuring with the dogs and i find many abandoned buildings and much history a lot of the areas we run in the country were in the mid-atlantic of the united states east coast and a lot of the civil war battles were fought here and a lot of it went through our region so it's riddled with with history with uh with all kinds of history and um presidential wise because we're in pro close proximity to washington dc in fact we've done some running in washington dc and of course gettysburg pennsylvania and antietam battlefield uh maryland virginia that kind of stuff so with all this history with all this rich history american history and all of the abandoned structures we run into and the railroads and the canals that originally went through here some of them still do are working um i decided i've got to know more about it and it's great reading history books and learning about it but it's another thing to almost live it when you're back on these trails a lot of them because of the fine trail systems and something called rails to trails uh which helps with the preservation of trails and uh um converting old railroads to trails for people to use on bikes with dogs however they want to do it hikers and bikers and pedestrians etc so with all that in mind uh when you're back there it's they're almost untouched you, you can imagine what was this like 250 years ago i mean incredible and how was this made 250 years ago whenever the the case may be sometimes as early as the 1700s late 1700s 18 early 1800s so i can sometimes envision myself when i'm going down the trail with the dogs because a lot of times it's just the dogs running and the quiet of the the vehicle i'm on they are electric so we do use the electric sometimes but that's still very quiet and you just get lost in time a little bit what was it like to be here then it's really intriguing and uh it lures me in so i said i gotta find out more so as we stumbled into some of these structures we do run at night to keep the coolness for the dogs especially in the uh we don't always run at night but in the warmer months we usually do talking in spring and summer that was intriguing to me the night night time's always mysterious and then when you get into wow the dogs and all of the history here you start your mind wanders and you get captivated like i said you get lured in you see an old structure and you say i want to i want to go in there and then night adds that mystery so i'm always running with a co-pilot in case you didn't know somebody's always with me usually a team of at least two people someone driving the truck dropping us off at one part of the trail picking us up at another and somebody riding with me on my vehicle with the dogs to help me maintain safety for the dogs and for ourselves as well as to help with anything that may come about and I'm my co-pilot in the past when we early back in the days not when i first started doing it but um, a couple co-pilots later rhett um unfortunately rhett has um uh left the earth he's a wonderful guy and uh we just we just had the best times out there but in any case he he took the step he went into some of these abandoned places and these historical places that were sometimes dilapidated that you could barely go inside he got near and 
we started to feel a presence, he did. And I'd be on the outside with the dogs. He'd go in, I'd send him in. And then as we started to feel a presence and get an understanding, there might be something going on here that we can't really see, but we know is there. We started looking into equipment. I did what I could buy, like thermal imaging cameras, etc. So we could see maybe what the human eye can't see, or we could help whatever's there communicate with us. I sent, then proceeded for more runs with the dogs and sent Rhett into more structures. And using some of the, we're gonna call it ghost hunting equipment, some of the tools, we started getting some feedback. We started getting some, wow, what's going on here? And next thing you know, we were, we were, we were believers. We were like, whoa. So hired a professional ghost hunter to accompany us to one of the most intriguing and possibly haunted places to this day that we've hunted and uh, he went with us and he explained to us and he was also pretty impressed with the activity on the investigation that we got so he got into it and basically joined our team his Cur his name is curtis weimer i'm sure you've seen him with me he's taught me a lot of what i know chris my wingman and my main guy's been with me forever drives the truck you've seen him in a lot of my videos he um he was so curious about it. he's a master electrician by trade he went in and researched all the material researched more about ghost hunting he learned from curtis but he also took it under his wing to develop further and uh he's got an unbelievable knowledge of it too but now five years later we have we're, we're being joined with a special guest her name is para ann she's a ghost hunter too she's phenomenal and fantastic and uh her husband's awesome he's the data collector too and uh he comes by with some high tech gear and uh he helps us along we've uh, i've accumulated a, a lot of gear myself professional stuff that you see on tv shows like ghost adventurers and um you'll be amazed believe me this is nothing fabricated some of our videos you'll see have no or very little interaction or investigative discoveries we make because sometimes it's just not there so we don't fabricate anything so we're not like a real TV show we're better and the equipment that I'm using is a little state-of-the-art the latest of just added some new gear to the to the hunt for tonight and uh, it's gonna be exciting we've actually hired someone that's gonna go with us he went with us last week too we did the stick pile tunnel which is another story but uh, this gentleman is from this area and he's lived in this woods and he still does sometimes he's not a wood dweller if you will but He's in and out, and uh, he's very familiar with the area, so he's gonna take us to some remote spots that probably most people that have come through here have never heard of. Stay tuned. I'm gonna see how the boys are doing back here. And uh, we're gonna get this party rolling soon. Wow, fits on, Scott? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda sort. I was gonna say, maybe take the smaller one, but it still looks like it works. It, it works good enough, yeah. Cool. As long as I can get the bowl in between that and the tire. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the question. How you doing, Chris? All right. Cool, man. Got the fucking pack. That shit too fucking good. It's so fucking pain in the ass to get all that red saran wrap off. And oh, yeah. <laughs> the springers, they put a huge piece of tape on it. Like. <laughs> it's a day's worth of work getting it set. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, I guess it's better than it rolling around and getting damaged. <laughs> He'd rather have some nicks and scratches and yeah. yeah. Wow, is this a trail? I guess this is a trail. Yeah. This area's incredible. And now with the corona, everybody's here. So this these used to be some of our go-to spots and we went to the first place we were gonna start at and there was campers and then we pull here and then there's campers up there and this is a Friday well after Labor Day. And uh we're still competing with the crowds. Or people at least. Oh wow, he He's, what's he got that marked or something or yeah. like with huge pieces of painting tape that's been on for too long <laughs> oh yeah this wasn't bad but that freaking bar couldn't find the word on rapid <laughs> lovely huh Scott's ready, huh? We gotta figure this thing out. 
Oh, it's nice and stable. Gosh. I'm going to give you this hat to wear so you can film cool. from behind. Okay. And I'm going to wear a funky helmet, of course. Cool, man. Take some pictures. We'll do our stuff. Is that them up there? Yeah. Some guys are loud, aren't they? Ah, I might grab a camera so we can see what we've got here. What we do? So this is all some only some of my gear. I mean, I've got mega gear for depending on what we're doing, how we're adventuring. But uh, I'm gonna look for a camera now. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's not it. I can feel the weight of it. Doo -doo -doo. Daggy, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're all set up now. Springers are loaded. Springers are what I use to run the dogs. This keeps them safely tethered where they can pull on it, pull forward to the side if they fall back. Depending on the position of the tether tells me the tiredness or the aptness of the dog. Um, we run older dogs. Some of my dogs are 10, they're not that old right now. Still consider seniors, but they're not that old. And if you've seen me in my other videos, I've used to run my dogs when they hit 15 years old. So this kind of equipment, they can run like that. We have a trailer for this and uh, it's not hooked up to it right now. We could carry a dog if we needed to. Today, Chris will be following us. There'll be no real need to carry a dog. If they tire, we put them in here, but that virtually never happens because I don't go fast enough for them to tire. As they get older, that becomes a concern. When they start 13, 14, 15, then you might want to consider having the trailer on for, for their uh, possible recovery instead of waiting too long for them to recover. What do you think, brother? I'm pretty impressed. What's this? Okay, cool. He uh, said these would be imperative. You know, I would should get them. That's why I did the handlebar. I did that to my finger in the four wheeler <laughs> without a dog. Well, the only thing that's good is they should probably be raised, but. That's what I think. It's not going to protect yeah. you then. What's good is... Uh, he might have did that for shipping. Or for something coming we're up. We're in the woods and shit so the branches don't hit, that. hit your lever. Yeah. Because it'll fucking throw you over. Um, he spilled like half the water, but we still think we got enough. So I have to send you for some. He said there's still some bottles here, but I think we'll be good. Um, boy, they're not even breathing hard. Not, it's great time. We're still only 3 o'clock. I can run for a while. Um... I don't have any of my phone holders on here, which I'll do next time. You know I'll be wanting to take these for a while now. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they are, man. But you would be the master for getting out there with it. Take me some cool places, you know? Just Yeah, exactly. Um, cool, 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 cool. So, folks, I'm going to start suiting up. What do you think? You know what? You can leave it in the truck if you want to. For the... hey, hey, Chris, you got any ideas for this? Because should I just leave it in the truck? You'll be with us, right? There's ain't nowhere comfortable right there. The problem is because it knock knocks this off yeah. because there's so much suspension. That's what happened and knocked it off and lost about half the water. Hey. Relax. Who's barking? Who's whining? Oh, it's her because she can see me. So, this is Wolf Driver World. This is my life. I mean, I have a loving wife that lets me do all this. Don't get me wrong. And uh, she introduced me to the outdoors before... I had my first dog, so uh, 
love you Cynthia um, she's home we've just moved our houses and I took the day off to go wolf driving and werewolf hunting ghost hunting so stay tuned gonna keep it in here we could we could have used the smaller one that's what it's about finding out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, is the um I don't have it here, I don't yeah, think. I, I think, think it's at home. I it with a hole in it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I got a new one though. Yeah, oh cool. Remember, yeah. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Um Okay. So we can you can get the dogs ready and So I'll uh, keep you with me in case we want to include this in the video. Almost, but not yet. Dogs are excited, which I like. Don't want to curb their enthusiasm. It's the name of a show, I think. <laughs> okay. That's what fell out of my piece here. Scott, do you want to wear the camera vest and have a camera so you can film me a lot today? Yeah. Well, that's because our first time with it. Yeah. So cool, cool. Um, the vest should be back there, and I got cameras with the attachments. You could take, um, we'll see which camera. Hey, pull my vest out too. I'm wondering if I should give you a video camera. Or, what's that? Oh, we could. That's true. Uh, we're going on the road, so we should be fine, right? Want to do it? Hey, Scott, we might give you the trailer, put the water in there. Okay, yeah, because we're going on the road, so you don't have to. But it's made for back off road too. But. Yeah, I think it would, it would eat those bumps up. Yeah, they they sell a motorized version of that trailer, dude, where you can carry like a thousand pounds. No shit. So, yeah, works like off the military control. equipment. Yeah, so yeah exactly, exactly. I like the way he did those. Thanks, dude. Cool. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, now I become Superman when I put this on. Something like that. <laughs> so, you've seen me wear my vest before, and that's because I can basically tether the dogs to it, and uh, it's like a people harness. It'll hold them just fine if we get into a precarious situation where I've got to walk them through something or do something. Yeah, man. Let me see. Which, uh, which camera do you want me to set up with? Uh, let me think for a sec. You got that open. Um, let me think. I'm going to wear this one tonight. Got all my ghost stuff in there. And I got your bag packed with all the batteries and everything. Yeah. So we don't have to run back to the truck. Yeah, definitely. A million times. Yep. Um, <laughs> a little wide. Give you something you can Lumix. I'm actually thinking maybe a video camera. Oh, I need. Oh, I didn't know I had.
I got the perfect one, but I got to go in your vest. Next up. Thing on the other one. No? Yeah, really? Yeah. No hitch? Hey, I could I could wheel it. You think I should? Yeah. We could try it. I'm told, I'm hauling the trailer. It looks like uh, he, he was talking about he might be taking the um, the ball hitch off. We'll okay. Out. Yeah, it's perfect. There See, it's nice. got front camera. Very nice. Um, let me ask Chris if he's ready. Oh, no, I didn't pull him. Got you, though. We should all three have them, really. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta dig it out again. This one's 100. Uh, you, you know where you can put that, Scott? Look, put it on a, put it like right here. Oh yeah. Because that way, it might hit the camera, but that way you'll hear it when I call. Yeah. You want me to do it? Oh, you can put it there. But you also have a hook. Yeah, see, you can see it better than I can. Yep. Cool. And Should you hit this button to talk. The left button, right? Yeah, did you lock them? Did you lock yeah. the screens? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, we ready? Put that away. Does it work? Oh. It works. Did you hear me? Yep. Hey, 
stop that lola. Scott, so you gotta watch. Jag doesn't get freaked by the trailer, because you'll be, Chris will be behind you, so he won't be able to see. Gotcha. Okay, because you'll be, it's gonna be me, you, and then Chris. All right. Take these two. What's up? That's why everybody watches there, you know what? Got him? Yeah. Come on, Get her for Got her. Come on, sweetheart. Dad's gonna be like, what are you trying to do to me? The, the seat. Oh, that's right. I know where the tool is. Hey, Jack. Hey, buddy. The uh, seat handle, so we gotta cool. MacGyver it for now. Oh, oh. hey, Jack. That's great. Stay in for a second, buddy. Good. Okay, you stay with the bike. Yep. Hey, Jack. Okay, Chase, we're going on one set. Easy, Jaguar. Gotcha. Watch her, because she's... Oh, she's peeing. She's peeing. I think, yeah. She was just... dancing around first. Hey, watch him with the trailer. Let me know if he's getting freaked, because I can take it off. I'll wait here for a second, I got you. No, 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 I think you're good. Well, watch him when he backs up. Yeah. Okay, here I go. Okay. See how they're out in front, Chris? Yeah. All right, I'm right behind you. Wolf Driver. driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Wolf Driver Thank you.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. <laughs>